you can support the In the Past Lane podcast with a donation via Patreon or PayPal. Just go to inthepastlane.com and click on support. Thanks. Whoa, hit the brakes. You've arrived at the number one drive-by for American history. Welcome to The Pit Stop. Brought to you by In the Past Lane, the podcast about history and why it matters. Here's Edward T. O'Donnell, your host and historian at large. Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Pit Stop, your Monday morning source for history on the go in just about five minutes. We offer this mini feature every Monday, in addition to our regular full feature episodes. Here's what happened in American history the week of June 4th, 2018. Let's start with birthdays. June 5th, 1919, that's the birthday of Richard Scarry, who was born in Boston, Massachusetts. Richard Scarry is the children's book author who brought us characters like Glip and Glop, Pip Pip, and of course, Lowly Worm. June 6th, 1755 is the birthday of Nathan Hale, who was born in Coventry, Connecticut. Nathan Hale was an important spy in the early months of the American Revolutionary War, but he was captured by the British and hanged in Manhattan in September 1776. But not before he allegedly said, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. June 9th, 1768, that's the birthday of Samuel Slater, who was born in Belper, England. Slater is considered the father of the American Industrial Revolution. As a youth, he worked in textile mills in England. And then, in 1789, armed with this knowledge, he emigrated to the United States. Four years later, in 1793, in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, he established the first successful textile mill in the United States, a feat that essentially launched the Industrial Revolution in America. June 9th is also the birthday of Robert McNamara, who was born June 9th, 1916, in San Francisco, California. McNamara was a successful business executive with the Ford Motor Company, but he's mainly remembered for his service as Secretary of Defense from 1961 to 1968, during which he presided over the controversial and ultimately disastrous Vietnam War. And if you want to know more about the Vietnam War, check out my interview with Ken Burns about his documentary on the Vietnam War. That's in episode 39 of In the Past Lane. June 10th, 1895, that's the birthday of Hattie McDaniel, who was born in Wichita, Kansas. McDaniel was the first African-American to win an Academy Award, and she earned that honor for her role as Mammy in the 1939 blockbuster film Gone with the Wind. June 10th is also the birthday of Saul Bellow, who was born in 1915 in Canada. Bellow was a prolific and highly decorated novelist. He won all the major honors, including the Pulitzer Prize, Nobel Prize, and the National Book Award for novels such as Humboldt's Gift and The Adventures of Augie March. Saul Bellow once said, You never have to change anything you got up in the middle of the night to write. All right, what about events and anniversaries this week? Well, June 4th, 1942, that's the beginning of the Battle of Midway. This turned out to be a major U.S. victory just six months after Pearl Harbor. Led by Admiral Chester Nimitz, the U.S. Navy inflicted devastating losses on Imperial Japan's Navy, losses it never recovered from. U.S. forces sank four carriers and one heavy cruiser and also destroyed 248 aircraft. June 6, 1968, Senator Robert F. Kennedy dies from a gunshot wound sustained just minutes after he was declared the winner in the California primary in the race for President of the United States. Robert F. Kennedy once said, There are people in every time and every land who want to stop history in its tracks. They fear the future, mistrust the present, and invoke the security of a comfortable past which in fact never existed. If you want to learn more about Robert F. Kennedy, check out my interview with Larry Tai, who wrote the most recent biography of RFK, and that's episode number five of In the Past Lane. June 6th is also the anniversary of D-Day, which began on June 6th, 1944. On that day, Allied forces launched a massive amphibious invasion of Nazi-occupied France. It was the beginning of a long and bloody, but ultimately successful effort to defeat Nazi Germany. Anyone who's seen the movie Saving Private Ryan has a sense of the human cost of this epic battle. June 6, 1933, the first drive-in movie theater in America opened in Camden, New Jersey. June 10, 1935, Dr. Robert Smith and his friend William G. Wilson founded Alcoholics Anonymous. And also on June 10, way back in 1752, Benjamin Franklin conducted his famous experiment that demonstrated the electrical nature of lightning. Franklin flew a kite during a thunderstorm and collected an electrical charge in what was called a Leyden jar. He published the results and soon became an international celebrity. 
Okay, time for the last word. Let's give it to General Dwight D. Eisenhower. On June 6th, 1944, D-Day, he issued the following order of the day. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you are about to embark on the Great Crusade, toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers-in-arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But the tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. And let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Okay, people. That's your history fix of the week. Now put it in drive and go make your own history. <laughs> <laughs>